Hi, this is uh, my temple level. I will quickly give you a tour of it and then show you some gameplay with some bots. So at the moment we are in the red inside the red temple um, where their flag is. Uh, both sides are symmetrical so the blue side will look the same. So on this lower floor we've got two jump pads which go to the second part. Um, a couple of weapons, some health behind here and a single spawn point. Um, I thought it was good to have a spawn in the temple because it's obviously safe near weapons and whatnot, but it's not too close to the flag um, and the line of sight's cut out. So you can't, you know, can't be if you're trying to capture the flag, you're not going to be killed constantly by someone spawning. And then up here, you got a weapon, and armor, and then the teleport, which gets you to the last level where the flag is. And then you can either escape out the doors where you came from, or use the jump pad to jump out the roof. Um, I had to adjust those jump pads numerous times to get it right, but yeah, they feel okay now. And then yeah, you're outside on top of the temple, there's a sniper point in there, the redeemer on top of the statue where you have to go to this hidden kind of teleport and armor. Um, and then yeah, that's the second level, and then the bottom level, uh, you get up, uh, it'll get up and down with the lifts. And there's a spawn point there and a weapon and the other side is the same. Um, I think one has a flat cannon and one has a grenade launcher. Um, sniper up there and then a minigun on this uh, the lowest level. Um, and I think inside the temple you have a flat cannon and a bio uh, rifle. And yeah, both sides are symmetrical in terms of weapons and health placement. And then when you come out, you've got three different uh, entrances or exits. Um, so the main central one, uh, there's a spawn point here, and you've got a link gun there. And you have this ramp which kind of protects protects you. So if you do spawn or come out here, you're not going to be sniped from above, um, which was one of the problems. Uh, so it's yeah, a little, little bit of defense. Um, you don't, don't really know what's coming either side when, when you're attacking or defending. So I quite liked having that. Um, and then this the central area is obviously the biggest area and the most open. Uh, so I had to balance it carefully, um, make sure there was plenty of cover, which is what these rocks are for. Um, and you know, good lines of sight, but also you know, kind of blocking uh, some some of the sniper areas so they weren't too overpowered. And then in the centre you've got the one and only rocket launcher, so it's quite powerful, so it kind of encourages people to come here to try, try and grab it. Um, and then up here you have a uh, shield belt, so that's also uh, quite sought after, um, which you have to come up to size to get, which I will show you in a minute. Um, and then you yeah, have carry on here, you obviously get into the blue temple and it's exactly the same as, as what I just showed you. So that's the kind of temples in the centre cent bits. So then the side bits are also symmetrical. So if I just show you the one side, um, you come out, you've got a jump pad there that goes up onto the temple. And then you have two ways you can go. You've got the upper side route or the lower side route. So the lower side route's probably the most dangerous area, in my opinion, just because it's kind of in the middle. Uh, you do have some kind of hidey places like here where you can get a minigun. Um, both both sides have the same weapon, um, so as in uh, so yeah, minigun this side. Uh, but if you went to the other other side over there, you'd uh, get shock rifle instead. Um, then yeah, you can come down here. This is like a hidden door which lifts up, and you can go through. Um, and yeah, you can just carry on going through here to the other side. Uh, so a minigun there. And then yeah, get into that temple. Or if you go the scenic route, you can go up here, um, and then you've got another sniping platform. So obviously you can snipe on top of the uh, temples, but you can also snipe on the sides here. Uh, you have a bit more coverage possibly here, but it's a lot riskier because you can be shot from many more angles. Um, and you you also have obviously access to this uh, teleport, uh, sorry, jump pad, so you can jump up and get a shield belt. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the level. Um, so I will now show you some gameplay. First lineup zone uh, for the start. I've got one for half time. Taken. Enemy flag carrier is here. Enemy flag carrier is here. 
Taken. Cover me. New flag dropped. New flag taken. Cover me. Red flag dropped. Red flag returned. Thirty seconds left. Completed. Okay, so second half. This is obviously the half time line up. Cover me! That's not what you can do on. Um, obviously, because it's symmetrical. Like I need backup! I need backup! Cover me! Blue flag taken. Enemy flag carrier is here! Enemy flag carrier is here! You'll be dead! Enemy flag carrier is here! Cover me! I Red flag taken. The uh, outside was Enemy flag carrier is here! Red team scores. Red team wins the match. 